Hello doers, Jose Ignacio here with another tutorial. Now with Odoo, you can quickly and efficiently import and export information in your database. Inside of the Odoo database, each record contains a wealth of information, spanning from simple contact details to very intricate accounting and inventory data. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to import and export data in Odoo in order to bulk edit data. Fortunately, this is actually available throughout most Odoo applications. Odoo also makes it easy to use sample import templates and provides many different export options for users to choose from. Now, enough chit chat. Let's see how all of this works inside of Odoo. So hello, doers. Let's start inside of our contacts application over here because this is where all of my contacts are in one place. Now from here, I'm actually going to select the list view using the little option up here in the top right corner. And would you look at that? Now I have all the information with a lot of other actions that you're going to see that I have available. So let's say that if I would like to archive multiple contacts and export their information, or maybe just delete multiple contacts, I actually do so by ticking on the checkboxes next to each of the names of the people. And likewise, I can also deselect them if I wanted to. But in order to actually be pretty fast right here, let's select them all at once by checking the little box up in the top left. And then we're actually going to select the actions gear icon in the center right here and select our export option. Now from here, as you notice, I can choose from many different actions. Now, export is a great option when you would like to put information onto an Excel or CSV sheet. And notice that you also have the option to over here for the fields to export area to save this as a new template if you would like. And you can even change the file type between XLSX and CSV as well. Select CSV for this option right there. It also has a really cool feature that allows files to be import compatible. To take advantage of that, you also want to check the, te the, the tech, the checkbox next to I want to update data over here in the left corner. A little doopsie there. You can also use a prefab Odoo import template to ensure that the file is import compatible as well. This is really important that if you would like to import information back into Odoo, it's a good idea to use the little pre-done template as well. So on the left export screen over here, there are the available fields Odoo can export. You can go through a bunch of these activities, banks, barcode, a whole bunch of stuff. And on the right over here, these are the options that have already been selected to export. By default, when exporting the various auto applications, suggested fields to export are automatically populated like that you see here right now. Since we're inside of contacts, probably a good idea to have email exported. Now, how about we select, in our case... Something pretty is super creepy, but also very cool. Something like streets by selecting the little plus right there. Now we also have their streets over to the fields to export. Sounds good, right? And it was all pretty easy by selecting that plus. Now, finally to export, I'm actually just going to click on the export button in the bottom left corner. Let Odoo do its magic and look at that. Everything gets automatically downloaded right when you do that. Now, because I selected the import compatible export option over there, the export file will be formatted in the correct way instantly. That way, when I import it back into Odoo, I'm not going to have any problems. All right, that about wraps up things up on this pop-up window over here. So let's close this using the bottom left over there. And as you can tell inside of the downloaded file, if you side scroll all the way to the far right over here, look at that column. We could see the new one and it's aptly titled street. It was really that simple to have everyone's street name. Okay, now we're back over at the Odoo contact screen. We need to deselect our contacts over there. Now to import, I'm actually simply gonna click on the gear icon to the right side of the word contacts, select import records. Now from here, you can import contacts, which is super convenient, especially if you're a new business implementing Odoo. Maybe you have a lot of clients with all that related info stored on a spreadsheet. I understand it. Because either way, this is going to make your life so much easier. Now, you could use that export file that I just exported as a template. Or you can use the template provided on the import page here that we have right there as a little button. Either way, to import, you just have to click upload a file on the top left over there. Find your document and upload it. Once you're done with that, you're going to be given a bunch of options. You have the options to import, test, load file, and cancel. Cancel if you messed up in selecting the right file. If you didn't use a template or if you don't already have an Odoo specific template, Odoo suggests the closest Odoo fields that match the unique ones inside of your spreadsheet file. If the fields are incompatible with anything that you have over here, you're going to find out at some point. You can actually select the field if you want from the drop down that we have that I'm going to display right there.
It's just that little button right there on any of these that let you pick something that you would like. Now here we see Odoo chose all the correct fields for us, but for example, if the first field, like in our case for display name, let's assume it wasn't the right thing. We can select it in here, type in what we think it should be, and then select it, and we're good to go. Now near the top left up here at the sidebar, we have a couple of options. In my case, you'll notice there's an option that says use first row as a header. And that's a very good option if you have field names in a row at the top of your spreadsheet. Once again, I would recognize that for me. Now, also on the left, there are some formatting options that appear only when importing a CSV file. Some are basically set by default, but others can be changed. I'm not going to make any changes because this import doesn't include any dates or anything like that. All right, now let's test this import by selecting test and Everything seems not okay. We have a problem. Odoo detected I have some errors amongst my data. Hmm. Right now it looks like my company portion over here. And that's actually a company that I don't want to import. Great catch, Odoo. So I'm simply going to click on this drop down, which by the way, I'm going to go through the options you have. Prevent import. Set value as empty. Skip the record. Or create new values. I'm going to skip it. I don't want to deal with it. Okay, now let's test again. And everything seems valid. Ah, oh, great. We have a nice blue banner. That means everything is good to go. At this point, you can actually just click on import over here in the top left and import all that data into your Odoo database. Now, it should be noted that when importing large amounts of data, it can actually help to break the data down into smaller import files to complete the import successfully. But right now, I think it's time for us to click import and complete this process. Perfect. Look at how fast that was. Very simple too. That's all for this tutorial. Today we learned everything about how to export and import data into Odoo. Now, please remember this. The import and export feature is a common element found throughout Odoo applications. And it can be used to update data for different records. Remember to use those sample templates or to export Odoo compatible data for the most efficient experience possible. Until next time, Odooers. Thank you for watching. Go grab a snack.